We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Loving God, as much as we love, you allow us to receive love. And the sign of love is that you will fill up our storehouses with material blessings. May we be a blessed man who receives all things. May this be a time that we fix our destiny. The disasters, curses, Satan, the devil be cast out from our families. And may we surely receive the blessing that our children will do more well. May we live as a man. And may we live being a patriot to our country and our people. And may we live as an ambassador of Christ for world peace. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. At this dawn, God helps us. So there are two types of people. By the mystery of Christ, the, the husband succeeds and the wife finds happiness. So, the, the husbands have to succeed and the women have to be happy. So why is it only by the mystery of Christ? So people are either sheep or goats. Matthew chapter 25 verse 33. Let's find that. So it's meant, it's meant for our, our destinies to be fixed right now. But why isn't it? Because we scorn and we scoff at God's word. So we do the things of ruin. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. So, who, who is truly like a man? These people who are learned, who sit in the high places, who do more theft, who end up going to prison. If you listen to the news, you know, again, you hear these people following that. Shouldn't we be taking away their their pay? You know, they've stolen. They've done bad things. How can we be paying them? If, if an employee comes to your company and they keep stealing, do you give them more pay? No, you take it away. You know, it, how can a country not even operate like a small company? Who is it that steals the most? Who? Who is a man? You have to become a sheep to become a man. There are only two types of people. Matthew chapter 25, verse 33. Let's read it together. And he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. Amen. Isn't this a strange thing? You know, people talk about how people are like this or that. No. Either you're cursed, you go to hell, you live with demons your whole life, you, you ruin your, your children and your country, a goat, or to truly be a man, to receive blessings, to make your country blessed, someone who's a sheep, so there's only two types of people. But who is in the middle? So on the right are the sheep, and on the left are the goats. So who's in the middle? So your life of faith so far, you know, religions, they say, freedom of religion. What's, what's the end result? You live. You live so badly and yet, you know, there was someone on the street shivering with cold. Why live like that? At this time, he, this, this person, he's about 30 years old and he's shivering there on the street. Why? Why is he doing that? He's on his way to work? Well, yes, if he has to start work at dawn, you know, why is he in that state? Is that a blessing? No, it's disasters and curses. So, the Holy Trinity, which which is centered around Christ. So on the right are the sheep and on the left are the goats. So if you look at Jesus, when he, when he passed, his, his 
face was turned to the right. In other words, he doesn't look to the goats, he doesn't help them. So who are the sheep and who are the goats? So verse 37, verse 37 it says who the sheep are. Let's read it together. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? Amen. So the sheep are the righteous. So Romans chapter 3 verse 10 to 11, there's no one righteous. In other words, everyone is a goat. Only the righteous are sheep, but everyone is a goat. So just because you believe in some other religion, how can a goat become a sheep? This is truth. God's word is eternal truth. So why don't I do well? Because I'm a goat. If I'm a sheep, then I'll do well. That's what it's saying. So a sheep is on the right. Who is the sheep? The sheep are the righteous, someone whose sins have been forgiven. Whatever sin, by the mystery of Christ, you've been forgiven. But you don't know this mystery. So there are only two types of people, the right uh, so the sheep or the goats, isn't this our men? But the sheep are the righteous who has no sin. So how does this happen? By the mystery of Christ, by four-step repentance. So if you do four-step repentance, you become a sheep. But if you don't do four-step repentance and you're a goat, let's read verse 41. Let's read it together. Then he will also say to those on his left, Depart from me, accursed ones, into the eternal fire which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Amen. You know, even reading this is horrible. If you don't know the mystery of Christ, if you don't become a new creation inside of the mystery of Christ, then you're a goat. So all those people, will they're cursed. So there are a lot of people who are cursed, who don't do well. They're not released. It's because they've received curses. So if you depart from Christ, it's only curses. So how can you say they've succeeded, that they've been promoted? You know, there are all sorts of crazy people. And that's why Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 3, God says they're all crazy. You know, you do all these things and then you end up in prison. Is that normal? No, that's, that's insanity. You do all these you do all this stuff and then your children, they're cursed. You know, that's crazy. So it says here, accursed ones, if you depart from me, so if you depart from the mystery of Christ, forced at repentance, if you depart from the mystery of God, then with these demons, you know, eternally, that's how you'll end up. This is scary. So, if a person becomes righteous, then you're happy. Romans chapter 4 verse 6, God gives you happiness. And if you're righteous, God makes you a son of God. So, then will you go this way where you and a thousand generations will do well? Or you'll be a goat and with with the demons forever. That's, that's not what we wrote. It's what God said eternally. Which way will you go? So, in this world, the sheep and the goats are together, but which side are you? So, at the beginning, are we all sheep or are we goats? We're all goats. We're all goats. Those people who don't know the mystery of Christ, they are goats. So, will they go to heaven? If you're not righteous, then you're evil. You cannot go. But these demons who say they'll go to heaven without doing four-step repentance. It doesn't make sense. You and I, we try to do four-step repentance, you know, fervently. God says to pray without ceasing. Why did he say that? So yesterday, we repented. How did we feel? But then after sleeping, the sins of our heart, the sins of our flesh, all those ancestors' sins, you know, at this time, you probably don't feel very good. So when you want to come to dawn service, that's when all your sins have been stored up. So when you want to come to dawn service, it's so hard. Because if you're a goat, 
you know, you want to go live with demons forever. So you don't want to come to dawn service. But even if you don't want to come and you come, and after you cleanse your sins, then you become a sheep and then you feel good. So that's what this time is. How precious is this time? So do goats receive blessings or curses? They're always with demons. That's why they can't do well. You know, you see these people who seem normal and they do these crazy things. Why? Because the demons control over them. You know, they, they jump in front of a train. You know, how is that going to be a benefit? But it's when the demons take over. So then if you live eternally with demons, what do you do to your children? You ruin them. So without this mystery of Christ, we'll all end up as goats. We'll all end up as goats. It's so sad. So people, they're either sheep or goats. But at the beginning, we're all goats. So it's all curses. So ever since um, we departed from the Garden of Eden, it's all curses. And so we end up living forever with demons. So where do demons stick? 1 John chapter 3, to sin. And so because those demons stick to sin, you live with those demons. The hospitals, they don't know how to cast out those demons and they just want to heal the disease. But when we lay hands, what, what happened? So there was stomach cancer. And as, as he had surgery, the, the grandmother's the grandmother's demon, which had which brought that cancer, was waiting outside, and then once that surgery was finished, went back in. And this happened three times. So after three times, the hospital said they couldn't um, do surgery anymore. So he came to our church, but could that hospital cast out that demon? So goats always live with demons, and that's why they have nothing but curses. That's why I don't do well. My children don't do well. My family doesn't do well. Even my business doesn't do well. You ask those people who run a business, and you ask them if their business is doing well, and they say, oh, it's so difficult. You ask, how is it? And they're like, oh, it's worse than last year. None of them say that it's good. They all say, oh, we're just doing this. You know, uh, you know, barely, barely surviving. So this is all the life of a goat. That's in Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. So if you're not doing well, you're cursed. You're tied up to demons. There's no one who can win over demons. So because you're tied up to demons, you don't do well. Why is it our family doesn't do well? Well, if you're dragged around by demons, how can you do well? So it's all curses. So if you have curses and demons, that's... That's the way the world's goats live. But is there a way to change it? Well, not in the world, only by the mystery of Christ. So what is the mystery of Christ? It's Christ coming inside of me. It's me going inside of Christ. So what happens if you go inside of Christ? Let's find 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. You become a blessed man. Your, your destiny changes to become righteous. So you become a sheep. So there's nothing beyond this. If you don't do well, quickly do four-step repentance by the mystery of Christ. Then someone who was cursed, you know, if you're cursed, you seem to do well and you don't do well. You have all the food set in front of you and then 99% you're about to do well and then you, you don't. So you end up storing up the wealth, but you can't even use it. So the evil end up giving it to the righteous. And that's how they end off, even their children. But for us to receive the blessings of doing more well for generations, that's why we want to be sheep. So God has to help us so that we can become sheep at this time. That's Psalms chapter 46, verse 5. So who does God help? Does he help the goats or does he help the sheep? He helps the sheep. Why? Because the sheep are his sons. And that's why John chapter 1, verse 29, even Jesus became um, a lamb 
of God and, and bore our sins. John chapter 1 verse 29. So if you can't make these blessings mine, it's because you're not continuously doing forced step repentance and you betray and depart. So when you do forced step repentance, you receive blessings. But with those blessings, if you betray and you depart, Hosea chapter 4 verse 7, what happens to those blessings? They become disasters and curses. So if someone's earned money, and if they've departed from forced state repentance, that money becomes disasters and curses. And so they and their children, even if they have money, they do crazy things because they want to boast of their name. If you don't do forced state repentance, are you crazy or are you normal? Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3. Goats, goats, they're all crazy. If you don't do forced state repentance, you're crazy. So they seem normal, but as soon as they earn a little bit of money, they think that it belongs to them. So they do crazy things. They they want to go out and and they end up ruining the country and they ruin their children. That's how they end off. And because they have nowhere to run away, they, they go to America thinking that's good. You know, these people who who have received the greatest promotion and they go there and they can't even barely f feed themselves. Why? Because they're goats. Their ancestors were goats. So whether it was what my ancestors did or what I did, don't worry about that, but quickly go inside of Christ. Do force that repentance. Keep the mystery of Christ. Then you'll become a sheep. So these are the blessings we've come to receive. You know, don't ask about the past. Just quickly go in there. So in the world, you know, our church, more than anyone else, we, we do this mystery of God, the mystery of Christ. And so our lives are like this. So those people who aren't even doing this, how would their lives be? So sometimes I deliberately get in a taxi and I ask the driver, oh, what's the news like these days? And, and he said, oh, if that... If that president, you know, if that president, if he's found out, he's going to end up in prison again. And it's, it's so sad. It's because they're all goats. Goats, God says, they're cursed. So how can they do well? And so God says, by the mystery of Christ, just become a sheep. If you do false state repentance, even if you came as a goat, someone who's cursed, even if you were living eternally with demons, by the mystery of Christ, if you go inside, then he creates you to become new, into someone who is happy, someone who is righteous, into a sheep. This is the blessing we've come to receive, is this Amen. So, if I become a sheep, then a thousand generations are blessed and I glorify the country. So why, why do you hate this? Who is it that hates this? The goats. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. We know this so well. Yet, but you don't do the mystery of Christ to go inside. It's by the mystery of Christ that you go inside and become new. So a goat becomes a sheep. Let's read together. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Amen. So the past, the days of being a goat have passed. So that's anyone, anytime, anywhere, if you do force your repentance. So you don't have to come to Busan First Church, wherever you are. Just do four step repentance. Then if you were cursed, if you would if you had demons, if you were a goat and you weren't doing well, by four step repentance you go inside of Christ and you become a new creation, you become a sheep. So whether you do a business or whatever, if you if you're not doing well, quickly do four step repentance. Go inside of there and he will change you to a blessed man. So the curses, the difficulties, straight away you become a blessed man. So God, he's telling you to receive blessings and for your children to do well. But who hates this? The demons, the goats, they hate this. So if you go inside of Christ, you become a new creation. 
So if you go inside of Christ, are you evil or are you righteous? You're righteous. You're forgiven of your sins. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, Nehemiah. So if you do foster repentance, you're forgiven. If you're forgiven, are you a goat or a sheep? You're a sheep. So the sheep receive these blessings. Let's find Psalms chapter 23. So why are you worrying about your children? All you have to do is become a sheep. You know, why are you thinking, oh, what should I do about my business? Just become a sheep. A sheep is filled with blessings. But if you're a goat, it's all curses. Even if you do well, it's disasters. Even if you don't do well, it's a problem. So... This lacking servant will read this because we don't have time. Jehovah is my shepherd, I shall not want. So what does that mean that I am? Am I a goat or a sheep? So that means you don't have any lackings. So this is what Jehovah, who is in control of life and death, says. So please don't be a goat where you're cursed, where you live eternally with demons, where you and your children don't do well. If you go inside of the mystery of Christ, you become a sheep. Now, even if you have a problem with your business, why is it that you become a government official, official and then you have to go around hiding? You know, all this time where you acted like you were better and you received all this money, why are you now hiding? If you've done bad things, you should come out and say, I've done these bad things. Why is it? that you do these strange things until you're investigated and found out. Does that mean you become a sheep? No, you're still a goat. Even now, confess and go inside of Christ. Those people always go to a fake church that goes to hell without Christ. That doesn't say the Sermon of Christ, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, so they cannot escape from disasters and curses. Because cur goats, they only have curses. That's what God says. So verse 2, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. So it's, if you do things by my strength, it's curses. Everything is by Jehovah. Even my eating and drinking, it's Jehovah who does it. So how can you do anything by your strength? You know, if there was someone who can satisfy you, you know, you know, when I go to, when I go to, go overseas or they say they say oh pastor I'll, I'll you know I'll lead you and host you and they end up going somewhere else why because you can't do things if you're in court if you don't repent you're a goat you, things don't work out you think that you'll do you'll do well but why is it that God says that you're cursed please let's be a sheep let's go inside of Christ and become a sheep then in your life there is no lacking that's why we've come here. Let's surely do well. So he leads me beside quiet waters. He, verse 3, he restores my soul. So if my spirit soul is revived so I can go to heaven, even that's done by Christ. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yes, there are times I go the wrong way and I fall. But the reason why I fear no evil is, is because for you are with me. The Lord is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. They protect me and guide me. So those people who curse me, he hits them. You know, sometimes in a car accident or, or sometimes, you know, he repays my enemies. So even if you go the wrong way, if you do forced repentance and you go inside of Christ, he even takes care of your enemies. That's Romans chapter 12, verse 19. So it happens exactly. So verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. So whatever you do, your cup overflows. So if you're not doing well, if you have curses, it's because you're a goat. You haven't done four-step repentance. So immediately do four-step repentance. If you go out and you're not doing well, quickly do four-step repentance and it will change to blessings. So this is such a good promise. Where in the world can you find this? And then 
Oh, Pastor, isn't it just enough for us to go to heaven? Well, let's see what happens. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Jehovah forever. So you will go to heaven. So when this happens, you and a thousand generations receive blessings. At this time, let's only become sheep. By the mystery of Christ, let's become sheep. So, will your husband succeed? He'll succeed straight away because the curses disappear and you get blessings. So, why is it you don't do forced their repentance, the mystery of Christ? If the husband does well, will the wife be unhappy? She'll be happy. So, if you're happy, will you go to heaven or hell? So, if you're successful, you'll go to heaven. So, let's, receive, let's have these blessings by the mystery of Christ. So let's say to the person next to us, by the mystery of Christ, by the mystery of Christ. So what happens by the mystery of Christ? Let's say a goat becomes a sheep. A goat becomes a sheep. A goat becomes a sheep. Becomes a sheep. Isn't this amen? So even in Seoul, at this time, let's receive this blessing. Let's call upon the Lord three times and go in the sight of Christ. Curses depart. Demons be cast away. How good is this? Already the way you say Amen is different. When you first came, you know you had the sins of the heart and the flesh and you were tired and you had your ancestors' sins and you were thinking, oh, should I rest this dawn? And you were like thinking this way and that way. And then you came out because you did to the point of death. And then you became a sheep and the curses have departed. The demons have departed. Your descendants will receive this. So you and your children will do well. But at this time, if you're like, oh, whatever, I will, maybe I'll come, maybe I won't. No, you have to come. Let's go inside of Christ. Goats, curses, demons, let's end this. And let's only become a sheep. Let's call upon the Lord three times and let's surely become sheep. Lord. 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 Father God, by the mystery of Christ, may we only become sheep. May the disasters and curses depart and may the demons be cast out.